Bint Qureishi from Pakistan. So, Sheikh, my question is, if I have three sources of income, uh, one is pension after retirement from forces, uh, the other is active salary from a French or Paris-based multinational, third is salary from attending meetings of a naval shipping corporation. If the pension comes through the fixed deposits, which mostly doesn't contain interest, but the rest of my salary is coming through deposits, they keep in interest-based banks, and it does carry much amount of interest. So am I only supposed to rely primarily on my pension for my, my own expenditures and for my personal zakah as well? Because I feel it is le less likely to have riba uh, and leave the salary that I'm sure has more of it because I don't exactly, you know, I can't keep track of it. And um, does a person need wait, to Wait, 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 wait. How many questions are you asking? Uh, this is one question. No, the, these are seven questions. First of all, the other two sources of income that you're getting, you're getting them as freebies or you're doing actual work where you are getting paid for? Actual services. Come again? It is, I'm asking in the context of actual services, like attending meetings and then being paid for it. Okay, and these meetings. Listen, listen, listen. I, I understand your questions, so don't make a statement or a lecture, if you please, because our time is limited. When you do these services and they pay you, the services are halal or haram? Uh, the services that the person gives them, they are halal. Okay. For example, the and don't, don't give me examples, Ya um, Ya Bint Qureishi. Listen to me. Now, the companies you're serving are halal companies or they're interest-based companies like banks and insurance companies? One is a multinational. It has different sections. And the other is a, a naval shipping corporation board. And they're okay. business organization. Okay. So, first of all, any work you do, any service you do, the income you're getting is not defined by whether the company deals in riba or in haram or etc. And they're giving you money accordingly. It deals, it, it is defined by two things. One. Is my service halal or not? So my service is halal. I drive a car. I do secretarial work. I do HR. This is totally legit. Number two, the line of work of the company that is paying you. They manufacture um, goods, halal goods. They give consultation over uh, medical issues. There's no, no riba in their line of work. There's no insurance. There's nothing haram. However, they may put some money in the bank and they get interest money, which is not their line of work. So whatever service I'm providing for them and they're paying me, this is totally halal. Because if you look at all Muslim countries, you will find that all Muslim countries deal in riba. So I'm a teacher in a public school and my country deposits billions and billions in interest-based banks, banks and takes riba. And they give me my salary. So is my job har haram? Of course not. The sin is on them because this is a country. This is a government. The whole thing is halal, but they have these aspects of haram. So there's nothing wrong in what money you're making. And I hope this answers the question. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi-idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi-idhnillah.